Welcome back to another Pico Gym Workout Challenge write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the Web Exploitation Challenge cookies. Let's get into it. Who doesn't love cookies? Try to figure out the best one. So they give us a link to go to, and as you can see, it's asking us to, well, it looks like we're entering in a cookie. So we can enter in Snickerdoodle, but let's just enter in sugar because it's easier to type in. And let's do search. I love sugar cookies. Now, the challenge is called cookies. So let's go to the cookies and see what name shows us. All right, negative one. All right, so what happens after we type in a cookie? Then it shows name seven. Okay, I wonder if we just alter this and refresh this page. Okay, I see what's going on here. So there's different cookies. So essentially, maybe one of these cookies actually has the flag we want in it. Well, I don't want to manually go through each and every one of these. I know a lot of people did that for this challenge, but I'd rather do this in a more automated way or a more intuitive way. So what I'm going to do is go to my Cali box and I'm going to open up Burp Suite. Now let me go ahead and go and copy that link so I can use it. Next, start Burp. Okay, so we wanna to go to proxy, we wanna open the browser. Okay, paste that in, we'll get rid of the check portion. All right, forward, forward. Okay, now let's type in sugar. Search. And we don't care about that one. We want this one, right? The one where it's modifying the name cookie and we're going to actually send this to intruder because intruder can actually attack targets by automating certain values that can be manipulated. And you'll see that here in a second. So we don't care about this first one. Now we want to go to payloads and we want to set the payload to numbers, right? Because we want to iterate through numbers. And then we want to do, yeah, sequential. Let's do from one to 100, it doesn't matter. Actually, no, zero is valid too, but we know that's snickerdoodle. And we want to step by one, of course. And then there's one other thing we want to do. We actually want to come to options and we actually want to flag result items with responses matching these expressions. So we can actually grep for certain information in the resulting response data. And what do we want to grep for? Well, first off, let's clear all the defaults. We want to grep for the Pico CTF flag. Now you can also do regex, but I believe that just typing in Pico CTF like this and putting an open brace will work just fine for us. Because even if Pico CTF is on the page, it won't have that curly brace. So we don't need to, you know, do a whole regex for it. We can, but there's no need to. And let's, yeah, let's go ahead and throw in case sensitive match and let's just add that. And then we're just going to start the attack. And now you'll notice right here, there's a column designated to our search value. So if it returns true for one of these responses, it'll show a one. That's the one we need to look at. Now, obviously in the community version, it starts rate limiting your search results and it, it'll just keep getting slower and slower. But it looks like we found a hit right here on payload 18. So if we were to set the cookie to 18, then we would get in our response data the flag right here. Everyone loves cookies. Let's clean that up a little bit by coming back to here and then just setting our cookie value to 18. And yes, that indeed is our flag. Nice and pretty like. So everyone loves cookies. Let's paste that in. And there we go. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.